Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting the Infernal Enrapturous. This is an absolutely, well, <laughs> gross model I think is probably the correct term, but I've been looking forward to doing it for a while and well we're just going to do it. So without further ado we're going to jump and start painting it. It has been primed in grey sear and the color we're going to be using first is Shayish Purple. Now we're going to be using this for a number of different details. We're going to be using this for these horns. We're going to be using it for these just here, these kind of, wow, well, they're also horns. We're going to be using it on the cloak and we're going to be using it on the inside of the cloak as well. But some of these details are going to eventually become black details, but we're doing Shayish Purple as our pre-shade. So we're going to load up our brush with that Shayish Purple and we're just going to start painting this all over all of these details. So I'm just going to start just here and work my way around the cape. So with that done, just whilst we're waiting for it to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're going to apply this over the top of the hair. And whilst we're waiting for that to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some dreadful visage and we're going to apply this over the top of our demon's skin. So with that dreadful visage applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Druky Violet, some of the new reformulated stuff, and we're going to apply this over the top of the cloak, like this. As you can see, just really kind of darkens it down and gives us that gorgeous purple that we're after. What we're also going to do is we're going to use this Druky Violet over the claw. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Luxion Purple and we're going to add this to the claw over the top of that Druky Violet, but we're going to do a little bit less of it this time. So we're going to come up to around about where this spike is, just there, as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get some of that Luxion Purple on our brush and we're just going to apply. Now it is very vibrant. So don't worry. We are going to darken it down a little bit further. But what we're going to do is we're going to get to there. I'm going to wash the brush. And then we're just going to blend it out. We're just smoothing out that transition just a little bit like that. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Black Templar and we're going to apply this to a lot of different places. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of those horns, nice and easy. Like 
and that. Make sure that we do that on both sides. We're going to apply it over the top of the inside of the cloak. So that's mostly this flap here. It's the most, most visible one. Like so. We're going to apply this over the top of any of the straps and things. So we've got this. These ones here on the back. Don't go around. I'm going to apply this over the top of the claws. <laughs> a lot of black. We're also going to apply this over the top of the hair. But we don't want to use loads of this at a time. So we want to make sure that we're getting that red still just peeking through the Black Templar, hence why we're not using Black Legion, because that's just a lot more oppressive, in a good way, but not for this. Like that. And we're also going to be using this over the top of the claw. Now what we're gonna do is, once again, is we're gonna blend it out. So we're just gonna get a nice amount of this on our brush, and start at the tip, I'm going to bring it along like this over the top of the Luxion purple and then we're going to wash the brush and then we're going to blend it out just like that and we want to make sure that we're not getting any of this on the elbow just there like that perfect so with that done what we're now going to do so we're going to move on. We're going to continue this base coating train and the next color we're going to be using is Gilliman Flesh. And we're going to be using this on our poor mortal victim just here. And we're also going to be using this up the strings of the harp. Now we've got some purple patches going on in between each of them, trying to get through to the claw on this side. That's okay. It doesn't matter because we're going to be adding blood and stuff later. And this will just add to the effect of that. So colour we're going to be using is Gilliman Flesh. And we're going to be applying this all over the skin. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down lead belcher. We're going to use this to paint in all of our silver details. Now there is rather a lot on here. So we've got the frame of the harp up here we've got the various bits of jewelry on the infernal in rapturous we've got the armor as well but it's not all silver some of it is gold such as the Slanesh markings on the cloak on the back, just there. So with that now done, as you can see, all the silver is now on. What we're gonna do is gonna take some thin down retributor armor. We're gonna use this to paint in pretty much all of our remaining details. So with that done, it is now time to add some shades to the model. And the first two we're going to add are Druki Violet and Reikland Flesh Shade. And these are going to be used a little bit differently. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using these at the same time on the harp, on the silver sections. But we're going to be using just Druki Violet on the silver everywhere else. And just Reikland Flesh Shade on everywhere else <laughs> that's gold. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that Druki Violet on our brush and we're going to apply this over the top of our silver section first. So we're just going to get this all over just like that sort of thing. But what we're also going to do is we're going to wash the brush, come in here, 
and grab some right clean flesh shade and then just towards the bottom we're going to add that right clean flesh shade like that so towards the towards where the skin is and grab a little bit more like that Similarly, on the other side, we can just use right and fresh shade first because we've got it here on the brush already. Like that. Wash the brush, grab that drooky violet, and then just use that to shade the rest of the silver. like that. Similarly, as mentioned, we're going to be using the Reitland Flesh Shade over the top of all the gold. And we're going to be using the Drooky Violet over the top of all the silver. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Achillean Green. We're going to use this on the gems. And so with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna use two colors. We're gonna use Blood for the Blood God and contrast medium. We're going to be using this to do the blood on our harp. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some contrast medium first of all and we're going to paint it all the way around this rune on the back. So we're just going to add it like this over the edges as well. That's important here. Just like that. Then we're just going to go straight into the pot for some blood for the blood god. And we're going to add it in over the top of the rune. Like this, kind of in a stippling motion. Like that. Then we wash the brush. And then around the outside of the skin, we're gonna stipple off some of that excess. Just like that, with a clean brush. Like so. Similarly, I'm gonna take some blood for the blood god. I'm gonna apply this in various little places. So we wanna add some around here. Like that. And a little bit more in. We can see so we've got this little kind of trail coming down, like that sort of thing. And we're going to add it quite heavily around here. But again, we're just going to stipple it on. So, if you go a little bit heavy in places, you can wash the brush. And then just with a clean brush, just go in there and smooth it out a little bit. Like so. And then we're also going to add this going up the strings.
So with that done, our Infernal and Rapturous is now at what I would call a War Hipster battle ready. It's looking pretty cool, however, we're not going to leave it there. No, we are going to take it to the next level by adding some layers and some highlights. Now the first one we're going to add is a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Kislev Flesh and Flayed One Flesh. And we're going to be using this on all of our mortals' skin. Now we're just going to be re-layering here, basically. What we want is we want this to be quite pale. But we want to avoid anywhere where our Gilliman flesh has settled. And we thinned it down just a little bit more than we would normally. So we get a nice flow to the paint. So it might take a couple of thin coats. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use Flayed One Flesh on its own. And we're going to use this to do a kind of much narrower re-layering on the skin. Just like that sort of thing. And so with that done, just to tie it all together just a little bit more, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Reichland Flesh Shade. I'm going to apply this over the top of the skin and the heart strings. So for example, just up here, I'm just going to bring it down over the top of the Blood for the Blood God as well. And on the legs, for example. in. You don't need loads here. So with that done, this flesh is now finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the other flesh and that's going to be on the Herald itself. And the colour we're going to be using to highlight this is Pallid Witch Flesh. And we are just going to be doing a highlight here, just picking out the edges and details across all of the muscles around the face and all these areas such like this. So with that done, the Herald skin is now finished. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to highlighting the hair and the color we're gonna be using for this is Mephiston Red. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna start picking out all of the edges and strands with the Rufus and Red. Just like this. So it will take a bit of time. But once it's done. It'll look awesome. So with that done, what we're now going to do is highlight the cloak. The colour we're going to be using first for this is Pink Horror. Now it is going to look a little bit stark, but don't worry, we're going to be doing some pretty stark highlights on this cloak before we bring it all together with a glaze afterwards. So, you just want to pick out all of the edges here with the Pink Horror. So with that pink horror applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Cadian Flesh Tone. I'm going to use this to add a little bit of a spot highlight type thing to the cloak. So we're just going to pick out the sharpest points and anywhere we want the kind of light to be reflecting. So 
So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Volupus Pink and we're going to apply this over the top of all of it, the highlights, the body of the cloak, everywhere. So with that done, the cloak and the cloth are now finished. So what we're going to do is move on. And we're going to take some thinned down Dawnstone. And we're going to use this to highlight all of the black details. So we're going to start down here and work our way up. So we're going to highlight the claws. Like that. So with that Dawnstone applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Administratum Grey. We're going to use this to add a little highlight to the sharpest points on our black details. This is mostly going to just be the outward facing areas of our horns. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron breaker and we're going to use this to highlight all of our silver details. So with that iron breaker all applied, what we're then going to do is take some canoptic alloy and we're going to use this to highlight all of our gold. So with that canoptic alloy applied, we're then gonna take some Achillean green. We're gonna use this to paint in our last remaining gems. So we've got one just down here. We've got one here on the waist, like that. Got one here, and there, and one there. And that one stays the same color as it already is, <laughs> which is gold. So with that done, just to finish it off, we're gonna take some Baharoth blue, and we use this to highlight all of our gems. And so here we have it then, the Infernal and Rapturous is now finished and ready to provide that warp locus point for all of your Slaanesh demons armies in the future. I really, really, really wanted to do this as this was one of the first characters I painted on my contrast journey many, many years ago and I also don't have any pictures of that right now. This is a far cry from all those years ago, so much more fun to do now that I've had two years of contrast painting experience, so really awesome job. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, exactly like these awesome folks have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one.
happy wargaming.